Hey guys, Eli here for My Tesla Adventure, and it's currently two o'clock in the morning on Christmas Eve, but I'm sitting in my car, and that's because I'm here to show you the newest features with Tesla's new software update, 2019.40.50.1. So let me show you all the exciting things that came with this new update. All right, so we've got new language support, driver profiles, so this adds the ability to tie volume and levels of navigation voice with the driver profile. That's pretty cool. Okay, so check it out with the driver profiles. Let's see all now what's being saved. Okay. Wow, driving settings, lights and locks, unit formats, climate control, nav and map settings. For people who only have one Tesla or don't share their Tesla, with other drivers, this really isn't a big deal. But for people who do, this is really huge because if you share your vehicle with a spouse, a friend, a partner, and you guys have completely different configuration settings, it's very frustrating to get back in your car and nothing be the way you want it. With this dri advanced driver profile settings, now Tesla makes it easy so that when you get in your car and you hit your profile, all of your settings go exactly to how you want it and or how you left it. So this is a very cool improvement for Tesla owners who share their vehicle. It's also great that if you get into another Tesla, you can actually have your profile transfer via the key fob and carry those settings over to the other vehicle that you're driving. Save dash cam clips on honk. All right, this is cool. So this is, if you honk the horn, dash cam will automatically save a clip. It's a really useful security feature. Awesome, so we also got some new levels of adaptive suspension, comfort, auto, and sport. So auto replaces standard to be more responsive to dynamic driving. Okay, that's cool. Just further layering that out. All right, track 0 0.1, what is this? In addition to creating visual masterpiece with Tesla Sketchpad, you can now make audio masterpiece. All right, let's see what that's about. All right, let's check out tracks 1.0. It's weird that sound that happens in the Tesla every time you activate games. It's almost like the vehicle's releasing pressure. All right, here we go. We're in the tracks user interface. Oh my goodness. As you can probably tell, I have no idea how to mix a track, but I'm super excited to see what musically talented members of this community come up with. I can already see there's gonna be some insane songs. But take a look, there is also a keyboard and I do know how to mess with that. Voice keyboard, you can now Dictate input text to your car. Simply tap microphone on the keyboard to input via voice control. Backgammon, classic board game. Stardew Valley. I'm not familiar with this at all, but I'm going to have to give this a try. Tesla Theater. All right, they've added Twitch to the Tesla Theater app. So for you gamers... People who like watching gaming, that's a new awesome feature. Camper mode improvements. Your car can now maintain airflow, temperature, interior lighting, as well as play music and power devices for camper mode. All right, so this is a big improvement to the camper mode feature. On, dog mode, and camp. So that's different because before it was just off, on, and dog mode, and in on it would keep climate on, but in camp, will actually keep power and Bluetooth running. So while you're camping in the back of the car, you still get full capability of sound and power. 
As somebody who loves car camping, it's always been a little bit frustrating for me that when I want to power something from the car, I have to like leave the door open to trick Tesla to leaving, to trick the Tesla to leaving the power on. But now it's gonna have the ability to keep the lights on, the music on, and I can charge my device, that's great. So that means no more Bluetooth speaker, no more separate Bluetooth speaker, and no more having to leave a door open to get my things to charge. I can now do it all in one in my Tesla camping experience. So you know what that means, but I have to load the dream case up in the back here soon and go camping to try out the new camper mode. Phone improvements. Oh, there's a lot of people are gonna be excited about this. You can now read and respond to text messages using the right scroll wheel. Oh, this is great. So the car can now read your messages to you and you can reply to them by talking to the speaker out loud. Okay, here's my test message. Eli says this is a test message. All right, look at that, it works. Hey Eli, thanks for sending the test message. Sent to Eli. Now let's see if it shows up on my phone. Eli says, hey Eli, thanks for sending the text message. Okay, voice command. This is something I'm excited for. The ability to command the car via your voice. Show me the rear camera. Now look at that. And last but not least, driving visualization improvements. So this is it. This is the preview of full self-driving by showing us full self-driving visualizations. Okay, so check it out. We actually have to turn on the full self-driving visualization preview. Enable full self-driving visualization displays additional objects and driving visualizations, including traffic lights, stop signs, selected road markings, and obstacles. It's not a substitute for an attentive driver, but do you want to enable full self-driving preview? Yes. All right, so I'm gonna back my car out of the driveway, jump onto these neighborhood roads here and give you guys a first look at what these new full self-driving autopilot visualizations look like. Okay, check it out. First thing I'm immediately noticing, it's detecting trash cans. This is not something that I've seen before. So it's trash street in my neighborhood. Take a look at that. See the trash cans on the screen? Let me show you what's out my window. Two trash cans. All right, let's find out what else we can see. <laughs> I'm glad it's trash day. Oh, look at that. Okay, real quick promo. For you guys watching, many of you may not know that I am the creator of a comic book series called The Adventures of Starman. This is episode one, and just a couple weeks back, I released episode two, The Adventures of Starman, Big Oil Strikes Back. If you're into Tesla, into Elon Musk, into SpaceX, check it out. It's at theadventuresofstarman.com, and I've got a special link in the description to a holiday bundle where you can get signed copies of episode one and two. All right, guys. Let's get back to the video. Okay, we're in autopilot. Approaching a stop sign. Very cool. Look at that, you can see the light change from red to green. All right, check it out. 
here's what happens if you try to run a stop sign while on autopilot. Okay, so I spent about the last 15 minutes Okay, so I've spent about 15 minutes driving around, testing it on stoplights, red lights. All right, so I spent about 15 minutes driving around, testing it on red lights and stoplights, and I'll tell you what, it's impressive. It's identifying stoplights. If I try and run a stoplight, it flashes takeover immediately, tells me to hit the brake. Same thing if I try and hit a stop sign. Uh, it's really impressive to watch the uh, UI see all of the different pieces of the light fixtures in, in an intersection and then watch the actual visualization go from red to green as the lights and the signals change. Now, I got to say, I was expecting that this rollout was going to be the street level autopilot, which is very clearly coming. However, this is just the sneak preview where they're giving us access to the visualization. which tells me some of the things that I've seen that are street level autopilot are coming soon, but not quite yet. So the, the street level autopilot is still in the early testing while we're getting a sneak preview, but this sneak preview gives a very clear indication of what's about to happen. All right, so tell me guys, I'd love to know what you think of this video and of this new Tesla software update. Uh, are you a Tesla owner? Have you bought full self-driving? And if you haven't, does this update, does this preview, does this convince you that maybe now's the time to buy before the price goes up? Again, let me know what you guys think in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, please do subscribe.